All right, let's do this. Whether anybody watches this crap or not. Hey there, beer tubers. Welcome back to Maxwell Stars Beer Review. Back with another live review for you. This time, taking a look at a nitrogenated version of Trailways Classic Oatmeal Coffee Stout Beans. So I've had a number of these different uh, beans releases over the years. They've had the, was it the vanilla beans, the cherry blossom beans, the, oh shoot, I have to look it up. And just so everybody knows, these reviews are totally unscripted. So I'm, I'm literally having this as an afterthought that maybe I should have looked at the list of them, but they've had an extensive history um, with this particular beer over at Trailway. Uh, I forget exactly how long they've been making it for, but it's been at least three or four years. And amazingly enough, I just noticed I've never actually reviewed the original beans. I did do the review of the um, uh, the vanilla beans, which is also a very delicious beer. But um, I will say that despite not reviewing it on this channel, this is the beans is one of my favorite trailway beers. And when I heard there was a nitrogen nitrogenated version, so think Guinness. Um, I kind of lost my shit. So it was just like, okay, I need this. I need this part of my in, as in, in, in my life somehow. Thankfully, the Pickerings General Store in Uptown St. John was able to get a shipment of this. Uh, they just posted they had it today. So okay, excited. I went on my lunch break and up to uh, Uptown and grabbed like four cans of it. So have one right here. So for those who don't know, I mean, obviously, if you've drank stouts before, you probably know what guinness is and guinness has this nice creamy kind of texture because it's it's typically bottled uh with with nitrogen it's impregnated with nitrogen instead of uh of uh of uh, carbon dioxide so um it ends up coming out as uh, having smoother a uh, smoother consistency smaller bubbles etc uh anyway so the cool thing about this is the pour. Now, a Trailways words were slam it right down, like basically open it up and then pour it straight into the glass to kick up as much nitro as possible. Now, I don't think this thing probably is brewed or canned with a nitrogen widget. Whoa, that's getting too much. Yeah. Okay, I'm getting a little bit of that cascade there. It's overwhelming my... Um, my Guinness glass. And again, what size of... Uh, I'll hold that up so people can watch the cascade while I'm looking at the can. Yeah, this is a 473 can. Typically, Guinness is like 440 mil a can, I think. That looks pretty cool. Get that that nitrogen kind of... Uh, that, that kind of thick, dense, small bubbled head on top of it. And of course, being a being a stout, it's a good stout. It's uh, got a nice mocha colored brown head, black soot black appearance. That actually looks really nice. I'm gonna get my thumbnail photo while there. So while I'm live, um, if anybody's out there watching, uh, don't feel free to drop a comment. I will respond to those who comment. And of course. I must get profile picture. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. So look at that. Now that looks beautiful. And I, one thing I've always loved about like nitrogenated stouts like this is look how fine that line is the between the head and the, the there's like, you don't see any like, bumpiness from the bubbles it's almost like somebody drew it with a straight line that's a uh, guinness does that all good nitrogenated stouts do that this one appears to be no different Ooh. Mm. so big like it, it's muted like um i did say one of my favorite beers is trailways uh beans and that one, I think, comes out, jumps at your nose with a big, stronger, sweeter, kind of roastier smell. This one's a little bit muted due to the uh, the, the nitrogen. Usually, nitrogen dated beers, they kind of dull down the sense, the smell a, li a little bit. Um, but in this case here, I'm still getting deep coffee, espresso. What the hell is deep coffee? Deep in the coffee. Which my mouth should be in deep in the coffee. Um, it's got... Kind of like uh, 
the roast, um, very like dark, like chocolatey aroma, like a mocha, um, and a little bit of that kind of burnt berry kind of like like the, the the coffee cherries, the burnt kind of ar aromatics that come off of this. This the kind of thing you would get in a uh, uh, sniff sniffing the beans that go to a nice uh, like a gourmet coffee, like uh, something from a, a custom roasted for you. Smells freaking beautiful. That is a gorgeous smelling beer. Oh, yeah. All right. I think it's time to put this down the hatch. Cheers. Oh, yeah. I could do a trailway beans gauntlet with this thing. Now, this does come in at 6.8 ABV. I don't think I'd want to do a gauntlet of this stuff. But what I do get is very nice. It's creamy. It does come off as a bit flat. Like, and of course, Guinness is much the same way. Like, I feel like this here is like even flatter than that. Like, it's like obviously there's no carbonation to the mouthfeel. It's got it's all creaminess down the front and a lingering roasty chocolate, but not soggy, but like just weighing down flat in the back of the palate. Um, along with like a big giant lingering roast espresso note. Mm. On top of that, I get some like rich, creamy, like coffee with cream kind of taste to this as well. It's a bit like taking like really dark, rich, cold brew coffee or something and pouring it in one of those Starbucks, like, you know, the Starbucks milk things, the like the, the milkshakes, like the mocha one. So you get like it, it, like with no carbonation at all, except for that nice, thick, creamy espresso foam head that's on top of it. Okay. I will say I'm fucking glad that I tried this. This is really, really quite good. And it's definitely worth trying if you like Trailways beans with uh, with nitrogen. Like, it's definitely worth trying this variation. And I really hope that even the standard beans, I'd like to have it again. I know that Trailway brewed it again. I thought that was coming to Envy Liquor Stores, but it might not. Hey, there's Chris. Yes. Yes, Nitro for the win. And, uh, yep. Hey, Chris. Cheers, buddy. Look at that head. Nice. I feel like there's probably more than one of these in my future tonight. But that said, as much as I like it, and as much as it's worth trying, I feel like I still like the original beans a little bit better. And maybe it's because just the differences in how the carbonation and... Um, like it ever, it, it all, it's all about how it hits you. Like the, uh, um, like whereas this one almost comes off as flat bodied in the finish. Anyway, however, I will say this thing is drinking dangerously easy. At check this out, Chris. It's six point eight percent. We got. Chris from Off the Tenth, as well as Greg. Hi, Greg. He's always interrupting me. Yeah, no, I like that. Um, I'll get a four out of five. That's, um, you know, I actually didn't get a four point two five out of five because I like it. I don't think I like it as much as the original beans, but that's solid. Every one of these nitro beans has been an amazing. Uh, coffee stout. So, like, it's rich, full of a, a roasty coffee, kind of a dark roast coffee. But each one brings something different to the table, and this one's no different. Well, it is different, but it's no different than the concept of blah, blah, blah. All right. You heard it here first. 
Chris and uh, Greg heard me give a beer something other than a 3.75 out of 5. So there you go. Uh, you should gauntlet. I don't think so. For those who don't know what a gauntlet is, if you were, you know, watching my channel within the last uh, several years, last couple of years, um, gauntlet is, uh, the Guinness gauntlet is uh, taking four cans of Guinness and trying to drink all of them as fast as you can. I've never done it. Uh, I think the first time that this was started, it started was by a British ch chap called Beer Goggles Reviews, uh, who started it way back in like 2011, I think, or 2012. And my buddies, um, Lee L. Harlock of uh, High Tide and Vibe uh, and Guy of uh, Drinking in Canada, they've done it with mixed results. Also, the Albino Rhino has done it too. Yeah, who's Chad? Um, but that's something I've never had any interest in doing. But you could. These things are so, like, the creaminess and the, the flat body and behind is almost like, lubricant that sends it down your throat faster i think greg will really appreciate that analogy no i'm not hooping it and that's old school hmm. that's delicious anyway yeah so um 4.25 out of 5 i really like it so uh thanks greg and thanks chris for watching um and thanks for everybody who's going to tune in and watch this review afterwards Cheers. Really do appreciate it. I'll chat with you folks later. Cheers. Beers. <laughs>